Hi folks, this is Ode Fruit and today I want to use a bumper crop of the Hella fruit or Pandanus puriformis to do a couple cooking experiments. Well, I already showed you a couple Pandanus videos. Unfortunately, <laughs> during the last years I couldn't find any really tasty Pandanus. I showed you a couple videos of not too tasty Pandanus trees. But, yeah. I've eaten a couple tastier ones before and just took pictures, but no videos. This is Pandanus piriformis, and I've already made a video about this fruit, but back then there were just one, I think there was just one ripe fruit. As you can see, they are very prolific. Actually, I just took a video here about a different tree, and one of the ripe fruit just fell down. Let's see if we can, if we can replicate this for the video. No, this fruit might be ripe, but it's not falling down. There's still a lot of unripe fruit on the tree. They are the size of nice big melons. They're also ripe ones. Look, this one. This fell down and fell on a different branch. Also really young ones. I wonder if those can be used as a vegetable. Well, nothing to fall down conveniently right now. Ah, look at that. Here is one big fruit. It already burst open. I can see a big hole in the middle. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Ain't that beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> So beautiful, this hella fruit. So as you can see, this is not the first time they set a bumper crop. The ground here basically consists of old fruit. There is quite a thick layer of old fruit everywhere you, everywhere you dig. And yeah, well, the thing is, there are hundreds of pandano species and they are an incredibly important plant in the Indo-Pacific. Actually, one of the most common ones is called Pandanus utilis, the useful Pandanus, because you can do pretty much everything with it. It protects you from floods and tsunamis because it grows along the coast. You can use the stems for construction. They are quite soft, so not much work to, to work them, but they will not last very long. The leaves are being used for weaving. You can weave pretty much everything from the leaves if you remove those horrible spines on the edge. The buds are edible as a vegetable and I've seen them in Borneo markets from time to time. And the fruit of some species are edible. Well, but the quality of the fruit is very, very, very inconsistent. Most of them have horrible oxalate amounts and pretty much all pandanus here I've tasted on the Canary Islands have too much oxalate. Actually, the boss of this botanic garden where I'm right now, the Tenerife Palmetum, definitely the best botanic garden in the Canary Islands, told me he desperately wants edible pandanus species. So if you have access to edible pandanus species, please contact him and send him some. But this one, which is considered non-edible, is still edible in different ways. The simplest ways you can do this with every pandanus, but you will be punished for that because they, are, they contain oxalate needles. You can take the single, the single parts, which as far as I know, single fruit. And chew off the outer layer. On Korong, an island of Cambodia, I actually found the red pandanus, which tasted like apples. Quite a tasty pandanus. This one tastes a bit sweet, but it's also full of oxalate needles. Let's try a super ripe one. Mm. Sweet and aromatic, not too bad. And the oxalate is almost gone. Not bad, folks. This is actually kind of edible. There is still some oxalate in there. But sweet and with a nice peach or apricot flavor. 
but don't despair. There is a way of removing the oxalate by cooking the fruit that you can actually also eat the seeds. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna collect some of those fruits. Still a bit too much oxalate. <coughs> My throat burns a bit. I'm gonna collect some of those things. I'm gonna take them home and I'm gonna boil them <coughs> to see what happens. So folks, this was Pandanus piriformis, a real bumper crop. Look at this amount. There must be like 30, 40 kilograms of those fruit lying around. Of course, I'll take just a small part. We don't need so much. <coughs> and I'm gonna do a cooking video. So folks, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos, some of them, because it's necessary with cooked fruit from the beautiful island of Tenerife. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.